Hey guys, in today's video True Cut already works, we're going to be looking at setting up a cut area for your engraved image. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the engraving prep. And I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys actually follow along. Apologies about those birds in the background. <laughs> it's quite early in the morning here. So then, um, yeah, so now the cut area or cut out area. This will be, let's say you um, wanted to turn this into like a form of poster board. And you actually want to cut out around the room. So at the moment it's just going to engrave it for you. And then, um, yeah, so we actually want to cut out area. You could also, depending on the graphics, maybe you're making coasters or something like that, set that up. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial, we're just going to go similar to the size of the current border. As we've already cropped it to quite a nice size. So now I'm going to go here on my drawbar on the left. Select the rectangle. You can obviously make this any shape you want but then i'm simply just going to draw a rectangle just about the same size as our previous or as our bitmap image just place it there and then what i want to do is locate that let's try to see if we can get this right there we go i'm just going to change the color to red so we've got like a, a basic visual language that um, is consistent so there we've got our red and then we've got our engraving on top of that. So under the colors here, we can see we've got the bitmap, BMP and the um, engrave and the modes also there, cut and scan. But we'll be looking um, in the next video to actually set up these so that they correspond correctly when you finally want to cut. Obviously, we won't be cutting this out, seeing that... Um, it's all those titles and stuff which we wouldn't want but in an actual project this is kind of what you're going to do you can make your cutout area and you have your scan area which will be the actual graphics but in the meanwhile if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the videos you're looking for just go here request a training video fill in the mini form and then we will make that video for you but otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.